We're very excited to do this campaign breakfast briefing. We've called it Profiting from AI, from Artificial Intelligence, the Business Opportunity. But a lot of people talk about AI and, you know, it's, it's awesome, it's going to change the world, going to kill your jobs, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's just see how smart AI is. So I'm going to take a risk here and I'm going to need your support in doing this risk. And then I'm going to show you a link. Now, what I'm going to show you is 10 subject lines, some of which were written by a human and some of which were written by a machine. And you're going to get uh, two questions, the first of which is to identify which of these subject lines were human written and which of them were machine written. You know, it's, it's, um, it, it, it will be endless uh, it, uh, and the more and more uh, data we can put into the AI engine, we can start creating more and more results, we can explain more and more things. But if they're mirroring that person as well, then the brand itself is changing shape to be a little bit more like the person it's talking to. Just like we do when we talk, we actually vary our cadence and our body language and the terminologies we use around the people that we're talking to. Burberry, McDonald's, whoever it may be, will come just a little bit more like the customer. So what does that do to the question of brand? And that's really the question I think we're going to have to set out to answer over the next 10 years. If you mimic me when you have a conversation with yeah. me and talk to me in a slightly Orville-esque northern accent, <laughs> I'm not going to like you yeah. and we're not going to have a very effective conversation. Yeah. So, you know, to me, that there's a difference between ineffective and effective AI moving forwards. Probably a couple of big trends that we've seen. The first is it is not just the big tech giants buying into this space. Mm -hmm. There have been in the last couple of years about 170 transactions, uh, companies buying AI business. So I think it's a real opportunity to pivot back to skilled practitioners using technology and data not being used and um, uh, consumed by it, and I'm looking forward to that.